Okay, in order to drill straight through this steering column into the uh, bushing, I've made a little line on the outside on the front of the steering column. Then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to install the bushing into the steering column with a little stud that I have laying around. It's an old exhaust stud. So this way, this will it'll align it perfectly once I get it started here. There we go. I'll align it perfectly so when I put it in the drill press, I should be able to hit it on all three marks. So we'll put it in the drill press and see what happens. If you've finished drilling out the uh, holes for the pins, as you can see there's four holes instead of three. The reason is I broke three 16th inch drills because uh, apparently these little couplings are pretty hard. So I really didn't think I was going to run into such a big issue. So one drill is still in the hole, so I'm not going to even think about trying to get it out. So I have uh, two 16th split pins, and I drilled. I had an eighth of an inch laying around, so I drilled that out for an eighth inch. So if, you know, out of three pins should hold this thing together. One's going to be bigger than the others, but you're not going to notice it will be inside. So right, it's time to JB weld and let it sit overnight. It looks like the uh, the JB weld did its job last night. I let it sit overnight. I brought it inside because it's a little cool today in uh, Florida. It was got in the 30s last night. The only thing I don't like is how the back looks. It looks a little ratty looking. But uh, there's definitely not going to go anywhere. As you can see, the one pin, the larger pin that I installed, went all the way through. And two of the other three holes have pins in them. They didn't go all the way through, but they're in there. So... So I may just uh, clean up the back a little bit or just put a little bit more JB weld to make it look cleaner. And then I was looking at a can. I have a can of chrome paint. I may do the center in chrome paint. We'll see. It says to rough it up a little bit, but the directions are kind of vague. So we'll see what happens. Then I got to put a uh, outside handles or outside covering on the handle. So this way your fingers are a little bit more comfortable. Okay, there we go. That's it for now. Well, I went back to the steering wheel and put some glazing compound on. Before I put this chrome paint on, I figured there's some deep nicks and notches and scratches. Maybe that'll help fill them up because God knows how this uh, chrome paint's going to work out. I put a coat of this chrome paint on the steering wheel, front and back. I followed the directions, put three thin coats. Um... It doesn't look too bad. To me, it looks more silver than chrome. You know, that's, I guess it's a matter of opinion. But my opinion is it doesn't really match the cap. I'm sure the cap is a lot smoother. Uh, and I doubt if they use this paint on the cap, to be honest with you. So, uh, that's it. That's pretty dry. So, what I'm going to do next is uh, start putting a cover on it. Uh, we're in the process of sewing the cover for the steering wheel. So Linda's setting it up in the, in the machine. Uh, I had a little issues when we did the one side. The thread kept breaking. But uh, it looks like it's going to work. So it's, it's a tough, tight fit. So <laughs> we'll see. You know, hopefully, you know, we think we measured it out right. So we'll be able to fold it over and uh, hand sew it. Uh, so a couple stitches at a time here. Back and forth, back and forth. It's like the damn machine is so... <laughs> oh, I just stuck myself. Oops. No, no blood on there, please. You know. No, that shows that it's a labor of love. Yeah, Bleed labor of love. <laughs> got enough blood in this thing anyway, so... <laughs> all right, we're going to uh, just let her go on with this, and then, then uh, we'll come back to we'll try to get the length right. So. The circumference. Circumference. Right. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. circumference. So uh, that should be it for now. Turn. Okay, so we're going to try. I don't want to sew it too tight. Right. Okay. Okay, so we're sewing the end to make a circle so we can wrap it around the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully it'll go through. It doesn't look like it's going to. Come on, baby. Push, push. There we go. There we go. That's it. We're helping it along a little bit. You'll crank it by hand. We get to the other side. Oh, we got it. Do that again. We made yeah. okay. We're gonna <laughs> double, go we're gonna double shot it here, so this way. Because it was moving around a lot. Okay. Little trim job. Mm -hmm. Get some of the thread off. Set Let's up. Try it again here. Ah, uh, look at that! Right through. I'll tell you. This old singer really kicks butt. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's trash. We'll pull the pins and we're going to turn it inside out or right side out because it's inside pins are out. It's all bent to hell here. All right. Let's see if I can press it with my fingers. I'm going to just leave it like that instead of trying to open that up. And we put this on the bottom of it. All right, look. Gotcha. Okay. I don't know how well that'll stay or work. It should work it out. Twice, so. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to try to put it on a steering wheel and start stitching. So that's it for now. Okay, it's crunch time. It's time to put the covering on the steering wheel. I have the strips of leather around the outside to give it a little bulk. I may have to put some foam, I'm not sure. Lynn sewed the uh, outside cover for me, and I'm going to have to put it on there, start clipping it, and then try to sew it on. So it's going to be a while. It's going to take a, It's going to take some time, so uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details. We'll see what happens when I'm finished. Okay, I wrapped the vinyl around the steering column, and it looks pretty good from the outside, on the outside edge. Um, but since the circumference on the inside is smaller than the outside, it looks like I'm going to run into a little bit of an issue to where uh, there's extra material and it won't lay flat. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is I have clips on it all the way around. I'm going to take the clips off and maybe add some material to the inside of the steering wheel. And that should push it out a little bit farther, hopefully far enough to where it will get rid of those pieces that stick out and uh, maybe not too much to where I can actually sew it. So let me give it that a shot and we'll see what happens. All right, I installed the foam uh, on the inside, as you can see part of it there. Uh, basically all it is is door door foam, insulating foam. But uh, when I put, once I put it on, it felt so good to the hand, I decided to put some on the outside too. So that's probably, you know, neutralizing what what I was planning to do to begin with but it does seem like it stretches it out a little bit more so I'm starting to put some string around it to tie it to try to make it the seam come as close as possible to where I'm going to sew it so I'm not pulling on the material all the time so so we'll give it a shot and see what happens but right, I'm still tying it off um, I'm trying again to make sure that I don't rip the vinyl when I start sewing it Maybe I should just leave these strings on there. That would look pretty cool, right? You know, hanging down. Nothing like getting in your way. So, when I get done tying all the strings off, I'm going to start sewing. So, we'll see what happens. Finished up the sewing on the wheel. Um, it came out pretty decent. The uh, the areas which I was concerned about, that were was puckered out because of the uh, length of the fabric on the inside compared to the outside came out pretty good There's, you know just a few little bumps but it's nothing to be uh, concerned about um, still not really happy with the way the center looks but it is what it is and you know we're not talking about a uh, $150,000 overhaul here so uh, for being a frying pan that cooked eggs at one time and made me breakfast it came out pretty decent so uh, I guess I'll be hungry every time I grab this wheel looking for some ham and eggs so it's time to mount it on the car. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to take this sucker out for a test drive soon. Finally, the steering wheel is locked in place. It uh, 
between the lock nuts and the lock screws and everything else I put on this thing to hold it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks. I mean, for, uh, for what it was, you're talking about an 8-inch frying pan that used to make eggs. So, uh, it really does look decent. I'm going to see what kind of turning radius we have here from, from stop to stop. Okay, that's not much. So, uh, at least we don't have to worry about putting a suicide knob on here. So, so hopefully I can get this thing off the table and we'll take it out for a test drive.